something about a simple basic program with an, without input statement by sharing QBasic screen. First of all, we will write a simple basic program without input statement. Hi. Now, we will use simple variable with simple values so that we can understand this program is absolutely working correctly. Right? Our, whatever we write, it is working or not. Now, A is our first variable and its value I have given 10. Let's assign the uh, let's write the second variable that is b is equals to let's use the simple digit over here that is 5 so that we will understand whether our program is correct or not now third c is our third variable and it's a let's say its a value is a plus b now print c as soon as you type question mark here automatically it generates print statement over there. It types print statement over there. Print C. Here the print C one that here. C maache, C one variable maha a plus b assign gari ka so. Hai ta. E and the end. Now our simple basic program is ready. Now let's uh, check this program is correct or not by pressing EF5 key. Here you can see in my screen there is 15. That means this program is absolutely correct. Our simple basic program without input statement, we can write like this. Now, uh, let's uh, write a basic program with input statement. What is the difference? We will find out. Here, we will write E and P U T input A. Input A means A is the our first variable. I and P U T input B. Input B means here B will be our second variable now the value is missing here value we will assign in the output screen let's run this program by pressing your five key now it is you can see in my screen there is a question mark input statement always prompts the question mark it is that means it is asking us to assign the value for the variable a all right now let me type here 10 now again question mark, that means it is asking us to assign the value for variable B, second variable. All right, let me type again five so that with a simple digit, if we write the program, we will uh, clearly find out the program whether it is working or not. All right, now again, the output is 15. That means this program is absolutely correct. Now let me use some language over here in between input and variable a in the form of string we can use our own language in the form of string how let me show you string always written inside a double quote so e n t r enter f i s t first n u m b r number let's close the string and we need one separator here and that is in programming cubasic we write we type here semicolon semicolon will work here work as a separator or let's say <coughs> it works like a space bar. Now, here also, we will use another language in the form of string. Enter S-E-C, S-E-C-O-N, second, N-U-M-B-R number. Let's close the string over here and separate the string and variable with the by typing semicolon here. Now, let's check the program by pressing F5 key. Now again for 10, let me type again 5, again 15. That means again it is correct. Now let's go here and use some language over here in the form of string. The total total of A and B is, let's close the string here. Let's type the semicolon as a separator. Now let's check it out whether it is uh, working or not. Again 10. Again, five. Now see, in your first number 10, in your second number five, the total of A and B is 15. That means this program is absolutely correct, not only correct, but it is clearer than the previous one. Pailaku program manda yo, ajay bodi, 
प्रश्नसँग बुझिन्छ नाउ लेट मी गो हियर एन्ड एड सम मोर एक्सप्रेसन ओभर हियर लेट मी असाइन द भेरिएबल डी टु फाइन्ड आउट द डिफरेंस ए माइनस बी लेट मी असाइन द लेट मी टाइप हियर भेरिएबल पी टु फाइन्ड आउट द प्रोडक्ट ए मल्टिप्लाई बाइ बी लेट मी टाइप हियर भेरिएबल क्यू एन्ड इक्वल्स टु ए डिवाइडेड बाइ बी टु फाइन्ड आउट द कोसेंट नाउ लेट मी गो हियर why because we need output also so print the e i f f e r e and see difference of difference between b e t w e e and between a and b is it's close the string over here separate with the semicolon and the variable is b now print the p r o t u c t product of a and b is product is product has been stored in the variable p so we we'll type here p now print print the quotient q u o t i e n t t i e n t quotient of a and b a and b means it is a variable we have written uh, in the with the input statement hey right? when you become the export you can use instead of a and b you can use another alphabet also as a variable all right now we are in the learning phase so ma'am is using i am using simple alphabet over here now our program is ready we don't know this program is working or not let's check it out by pressing your five key now in the first number let's go with the same value so that we will identify the program is correct or not let's uh, we will find out this program is absolutely correct by observing the output see the total of a and b is 15 the difference between a and b is 5 the product of a and b is 50 the quotient of a and b is 2 that means this program is absolutely correct and more clear than the more clear and it is working like a <coughs> simple calculator all right now we know this program is absolutely correct now we can uh, assign some other number also let me type here 20 200 second uh, second value let's uh, let me assign 4 now see the total of a and b is 204 the difference between a and b is 196 the product of a and b is 800 the quotient of a and b is 50 that means this program is absolutely correct i am working like a simple calculator now let me go there go to file click on save as let me type uh, file name here qb pro5 let me click here close ok button as soon as we save see in my screen there is qbpro5.bas bas that bas is if you think this video is informative then do not forget to click on like button and please write comment also thank you